Okay, Blaine Gray here from Plaster and Beginners and today we're going to talk about the Ox Speed Skin and describe why every plaster needs one of these in their arsenal of tools. It's an unbelievable piece of kit and I'm going to walk you five main reasons why you should be getting involved and getting one for yourself. So this is a job we was on and um, the idea was it was on day rate, it's a good friend of mine and plaster as much as we can and the process is simple, you apply the plaster as you would usually, uh, just get it on the walls but the speed skim is just designed to not only get you a flatter finish but it also speeds up the overall production in which you can plaster a wall and it is just an amazing piece of kit and that's what this video is going to go through and just outline each reason why this should be used by all plasterers so as you can see I'm just applying the plaster in the normal way there's nothing special about the application and um, the tool is extremely easy to use but I just thought I'd show you a bit of a rundown now just show you how the plaster put on the wall in the first place and basically long strokes side left to right and then this is just one coat I'm going to flatten it and then I'm going to apply the second coat and flatten it again with the speed skim so that's the process I'm just going to walk you through how well the speed skim works and I'll show you some prime examples on why you should be getting one. Okay, so this is the plaster on the wall. This was just the first coat. And I'm just going to show you in real time how fast you can flatten a wall with the speed skim. As you can see, I'm just working left to right, I'm just working horizontally across the wall. And I'll just, look, it's really good results. And it's just showing how fast you'll get it done. If that was a trial, it'd take at least three times fast. Okay, so we're going to give you this go. You know I'm a big fan of the speed skin. This is a speed skin ST. The only thing you've got to worry about is the plastic blade, which does trigger the plastic to go off a bit faster. But the amount of time I'm going to say, this is a pole attachment. What I'm going to do is give it a quick demo. But actually, this isn't a surprise, I'm going to try it yesterday. But I'm going to show you now what it's like using one of these. I've set it to a height already. I like to hold my hand at the bottom, put it to the edge. I must say, it's an absolute godsend. You literally just hold the shell, hold the pole, sorry, put it where you want it. Just go for it, and it's really, really quite impressive. It. It's nice to get off the stilts. Could be saying, Why do you not just get off the stilts? It's because then stilts are very uncomfortable. <laughs> so, tip driving about stilts, get some good ones because it makes your legs feel like shit. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can see it like that, but just really flat and not see the right off. So you don't have to be too anal about it because it's only the first coat. But you want to make sure you're getting rid of any big ripples. A big ceiling like this easily took 15 minutes to flatten with a trowel. I'm just walking along and it's getting all my ripples out. It's really surprising how much control you actually have, even though the speed skin is at a 1.2 meter slant. Oop, I'm just going over the left. And I'm going to actually go the other way as well. Cross towel, we're going to talk about that in a minute. It's crucial for getting your walls and ceilings flat. But again, you probably won't have time with a normal trowel, but with this, it's just so easy. It's a lot easier on your hands as well, flattening this. Rather than using your hands to Yeah, I'm impressed. It's good. It's not often that I use something and I'm actually really surprised. I'm really surprised at using how effective this is. Because it bloody works. And I'm gonna be 
Okay, so one of the best things about this speed skin is the fact it's so versatile. I've got the ST blade, which is a plastic one. If I wanted to replace it, just undo the clip at the top or the bottom, pull that off, replace the blade. It's very easy. You know, if this, for whatever reason, broke, I could simply replace the blade. I can put the steel blade in. So you can change between the two styles as well. They've also got another plastic blade, which is just a, just for finishing, similar to the Plaza Flex towel. So that is how versatile this is. And um, Nella, I think you can replace the blades. Um, I'm not sure if they've got any other styles. I know it's not got the best feedback at the moment, so hopefully it'll change. And I know Rafina's got another spatula coming out this year. But at the moment for me, this is the best in terms of the fact that it's just so easily used clip just comes off like we said and when you're done put it back on and that way you can take it off, clean it, leave it in a bath, let it soak and that's what I did once about two months ago, leave it in a bath, soak all the waste off and it's fine. So that is another reason why this is such a good tool to use, let's carry this on. So do that, I'll do it slowly, it's quite open. As far as you can, if you look down in the light, see how it's getting that wall nice and flat already. That's because we've gone horizontally, both ways, and then vertically. So, last bit. Up, up, up. So that's the top reasons any plasterer should get a speed skin. A brilliant piece of kit and as you can see from the video there's a lot of reasons that you should be either equipped in this in your tools of arsenal so thank you for watching this video if you like it please press the like button and subscribe to our channel that'd mean the world to me and uh yeah if you want to learn a full process of plastering if you're brand new to the game click the link below in this description and um it's a free welcome course from plastering beginners where we'll show you the full process of plastering from start to finish a beginner's guide at least thanks again for watching Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.